Hi, John Capobianco here, and this is really, really cool. Without MCPs, without any additional enhancements, Gemini CLI can basically replace PuTTY, Secure CRT, any of your shell commands, your tools. We can SSH into devices and augment our experience with artificial intelligence. I think this is really cool. So let's get right into it. I'm going to go Gemini YOLO mode. Now, all I've done ahead of time is export an environment variable. So that now, and I'm not even using MCPs, I'm going to say, let's do this one. SSH pass, and then the password as the environment variable SSH into this sandbox device as PT Capo, run show version, and help me understand this version. No MCPs. Totally secure. So now it's going to run the shell command. I'll run the command and help you understand the output. You can see a little bit of the show version output here. And then there we go. The full description of this show version. And all of this is accurate. Right from the Gemini CLI. This is so cool. So let's do another one. And let's do show IP interface brief. Uh, hang on. Let's just go here. Show IP interface brief. What can you tell me about the interfaces on this device and can you make a nice markdown table for me so it's going to run that shell command and I'm going to get the interfaces and I'm going to get a nice table Like, isn't this crazy, right? Like, that's so cool. Can't do that anywhere else. All right, so now let's do something even better. I'm going to completely remove all of this and use the memory capability and say, can you please, and notice there's no loopback 100. All right, configure interface loopback 100 with a description of configured by Gemini CLI and an IP address of 172.16.100 or 100 slash, let's do slash 24 and enable the port. After you configure this, please show me the new running config and validate the loopback is now up up okay let's give this a go and i'm just added a little bit more that we're not going to be able to send multi-line because it's not like pyts it's not a multi-line capability so send one line at a time as an echo that's just a little bit of massaging prompt engineering. So let's see what, so configuring the loopback, that's a good sign. Okay, well, it's, it is doing it one line at a time. I have seen it echo them all in one pass and do it that way, but I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. This is experimental, and as long as the outcome is successful. Okay, so now I'll show you the running config for the new interface. Get a little bit of a hiccup there. Let's try that again. Can you confirm the loopback was configured? Uh, do not use PyTS, use the shell. I should turn off the PyTS MCP while I'm experimenting with this. 
Um, but that aside, let's see, here we go. So, seems it's not showing up in the output. Not successfully applied. Let's try it again. Excellent. There we go. So it was added here. Now I'll show you the running config for this loopback. And we should see the description. Isn't that cool? Isn't that crazy? Right from Gemini CLI, I'm connected to a router just with SSH and in a hidden environment variable for the password. It's running show commands and explaining them in human language. I can configure things and validate the configs. Really cool. The PyTS kind of got in the way a bit. Don't worry about that. It all works. This is really, really powerful. So um, you can just experiment with this. I didn't do anything special other than figure out a little bit of SSH pass and the string. And I'll put all of that in the description of the video on how you can do this. All right. We'll see you soon.